Hello friends, welcome to Days in Life. Today we'll talk about interesting talk topic, the burden of being Indian middle class. The size of Indian middle class has always been heart of narrative around India's economical development. How many middle class people are there in India? You change the parameter and number changes. So if government for government also, once government change the parameter, the number will change. So nobody knows how much really Indian middle class are because with the change of parameter, number changes. Now in an attempt to provide a more holistic or multi-dimensional understanding of Indian middle class, one author from the England, this is Mary S. Lenny of the King's College London, she used a composite indicator based on the multiple economical and social characteristics including like income, skills, credentials, social networks, housing or lifestyle and on that basis she defined a middle class and using this framework and data she took data from the Indian Human Development Survey 2011-12 which was last available data at all India level. SLNE provide, profiles Indian population into different class group. For instance, SLNE captured the lifestyle aspect of middle class using data on a household consumption pattern and purchasing power. Similarly, the housing aspect of class is defined using data on the house ownership and sanitation facilities. Based on all this data, she finds that 28% of Indian population is middle class and out of this, 14% is lower middle class and about 3% is upper middle class. She finds that while there is a significant diversity in the type of the job among the middle class, but large proportion, large majority of the middle class are the salaried employees. And this is otherwise also thinking in India, salaried employees are primarily middle class or middle class are primarily salaried employees. And this followed by the, the people who are running the small business or you can say a small time or local businessman kind of people, they are the secondary to middle class, running a very small, small business. Now, normally we have a perception that middle class are primarily into urban phenomena, but that was not the case. When we look at this entire data, almost one third or say 33% of the middle class in India are have the basically located in the rural area which is not the common perceptions. Another thing which she highlight is the top 10% of the Indians, they hold almost 77% of the total national health. So one side is the 10% of people who are holding 77% national health and there is a all more than 50% of poor people who are holding very less or maybe 5-7% of the national health and it is in the middle class, the entire story lies. So today we'll talk about the kind of burden this middle class is facing. In life when we think about what is wrong or what is right, who bother about them? Middle class. Because for rich people, they only think about what is profitable or what is not profitable, what is worth or not worth. Poor people in any case does not make much of a difference whether right or wrong. It is a middle class who are primarily bothered what is right, what is wrong. We talk a lot about morals and the value systems for rich people profitability is the moral that is the value system for them primarily barring some exceptions poor people that does not get you know uh, does not get you know confusion with all these heavily words they, they, they are they are doing their own stuff and it is basically middle class who is basically struggling morals and value system all those fights same way is a happening in the case of emotion. For rich people, for them it's either profitable, non-profitable, they're not bothered about the emotions. Poor people, first their requirement is to earning for them, you know, running their families, to what is emotion for them. And it's a middle class who are into emotions, suicide and all those things are happening. Many times we bother about what people will say. <coughs> to what people will say if we do that, rich people don't bother about that. Poor people in any case not much of the issue, it's a middle class again under the burden of what people will say. Same way God fearing. Rich people don't bother about God, they say it's your karma which will take care of anything. It's a middle class primarily God fearing people. We talk about religious conversion. Rich people they don't see difference between different religions. 
poor people sometime under some pretext of money some conversion keep on taking place but it is a middle class who make all the hue and cry about religions and its conversions and all these related issues when it comes to another interesting rate donations in the religious institutions many rich people they make partnership with the god whatever they are earning right away or wrong they give certain percentage to god so that god become partner in all the whatever he is creating many rich people they donate there so that it takes care of their next birth part but for them it's a small amount of money poor people do not have much to pay to the god and it's a middle class they lend them paying a huge amount of donations in the different religious institutions another area comes to tax paying rich people they pay tax but it's so much of money they don't bother about poor people do not have much to pay to tax and it's a middle class who not only pay tax income tax return finding gst filing and every year he look towards february or march when the new budget will come what rebate finance minister will announce whether this rebate will save me 5000 rupees 10000 rupees 20000 rupees in a year and next day they look at newspaper all the newspaper have the different calculation how much you can save with the new tax policy and all those things so they are poor chap after tax when it comes to voting rich people they hardly vote poor people they vote either on the line of the religion or on the caste or in the bulk of the post and say middle class he vote and make somebody's government and government's government is made this politicians are primarily rich people and this rich people they take care of primarily poor people because they are the bulk of the people who vote for them not about middle class middle class again lend up paying only tax when you look at industry point of view who are the consumer rich people again don't bother less in the number poor people are not the targeted consumer it's a middle class who are major consumer so all the advertisement tv and everything being target towards that middle class warren buffett once talk about investment he says rich people they invest in the assets poor people they invest in the liabilities and the middle class are the people who invest in the liabilities thinking that this will become the asset which does not happen and that is what the middle class is they keep on investing something which does not turns profitable and they lend up taking one more liability one more liability that's where the normally investment goes think about healthcare and hospitals rich people can go anywhere poor people will go to government hospitals and some middle class who are running all the corporate hospital private hospital who charge bombs same is schooling rich people can go anywhere they can sell their children anywhere for schooling poor people will go to government college and some middle class who will go to all private college which charge huge so if you look at responsibility or burden of the middle class the entire burdens are being carried by this middle class and this list is long when i am saying such certain parameter i simply look at this list is long and this remind me a song of the 1977 decade when movie come i think its name kuli where amitabh bachchan song was there sari duniya ka bojh hum uthate hain log aate hain log jaate hain and that is situation of the indian middle class question comes in the last how to deal with that the first of all we need to uh, accept a fact that we are part of system we are not the whole system it is not responsibility or it's not our responsibility to carry the whole burden whether it's moral value emotions or god fearing religion everything because middle class feed i'm only carrying everything leave it let's focus on your own happiness your own life so that if you are more happy you live long and you take care of your health rather than being concerned about everything entire country or every damn thing so that middle class instead of being highly burdened be more as a happy people i hope you will think about it and all the best to you